Hi, this is Adam Fisher, and throughout this short little video, I'm just going to show you very quickly how to convert a uh, 300 DPI ad or uh, Photoshop file, uh, etc., into uh, 72 res for file submission. Uh, this is really crucial to know and definitely follow through with because when you work as a uh, professional graphic designer in the industry, there's going to be times when you have to send drafts or work to your contact, either being your art director or uh, outside resource for publication, but you don't want to send them the final file. You know, you want to send them a draft just for quick review. And how would I actually do that very quickly using the Photoshop software to uh, carry out that process? Well, very simply, the first thing you want to do is you actually uh, you want to merge all your layers. So as you can see, I have my layer menu open right now, and I would uh, go ahead and hold Shift. I'd select the first layer, hold Shift, and I'm going to select all my layers down my layer menu. And then what I'm going to do is go up to the drop tab here. I'm going to click the down tab. I'm going to go down and I'm going to select what's called merge layers. Now in the uh, in, in the Photoshop software, if you're working on Mac, it would be command E. In this case, because I'm on a PC, it's going to be control E. So I'm going to do a merge layer process. And you can see it merges them all together. Now the reason why you want to do this is, believe it or not, when you merge layers, it actually uh, cuts down on file size. <laughs> ironic enough so if you have more layers in uh, your, your layer menu it's going to increase the file size but because we've merged them you're going to even uh, knock that file size down more when you go to the final format process so I'm going to rename this we can rename this final okay and then I would even resave this so I'm going to go file save as as you can see I already have multiple versions of this file so I'm going to go ahead and file save this as uh, I'll just name it final Add for submission. Okay, we'll do a Photoshop file here. I'm going to save that. Okay, and as you can see, if I go to View, and uh, you can see if I if I clear guides, I, I my guides would uh, be wiped off the stage. I'm just to do a, a Control Z or a Control Alt Z, Control Option Z if you're on Mac, and bring them back. But I I did actually uh, bring the guides over. I have them all measured in an eighth here. Uh, that's for uh, bleed purposes and give you some idea of some content where it should come away from the edges. So if you've seen other videos, uh, my, my Photoshop video series, like 11 apart series, I go through and show these tricks as well. I'm going to go up top and go to image, image size now. And we're going to look at these specs. Now in pixels, 8.5 by 11 with a bleed, I'll put a slight bleed on mine in inches, is uh, 2588 by 3338 30, pixels. But down here you see document size, I'm in inches, and my resolution is currently 300. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to change my 300 to 72. So I'm going to go 72. Because I want to submit this for uh, uh, either project submission or sending to a client. I'm going to click OK. And right off the bat you'll see that this thing scales down pretty small. Now if I grab the zoom tool, which is right here in my toolbar, or I hit Z on the... Uh, keyboard and then I just left click and drag on my stage I can zoom back in and let's go back into image image size and yeah now we're in 72 DPI and that's perfect you want to keep things 72 for a project review online uh, uploading content to a server submission of projects and so forth keeping it at 72 res helps the uh, download process it speeds it up it's a lot faster your client can review can see what's going on and then there's uh there's really uh no uh no issues on their end trying to uh receive and extract files so i'm going to click ok at this point i'll just go file save as and i'll just go ahead and uh resave my final ad for submission photoshop file and i'll just say replace it okay and i would submit this uh photoshop file so file save as once again. This is the file I would uh, submit if I wanted to send the Photoshop file. Now in most cases, you'd want to actually send the JPEG file because JPEG compresses the kilobytes. Uh, it, it it's not going to be the best quality, and it's it's basically we're submitting it as review. So in that case, I could go to file save as, and I would change the format to JPEG. So I'm going to switch to JPEG here. File submission. Uh, file add for submission JPEG and I'll go ahead and save 
I'm going to make sure the maximum quality is at 12. Perfect. So let's go to back into File, Save As. And as you can see, I have the final ad for submission. These are all my other versions. This is the one that has the merge layer. I like to always say, uh, have a uh, for submission folder available. And I'm going to take this and uh, drop it in there. I'll switch the format to JPEG. Take a look. There it is. Drop that in there. Just hit cancel. I'll go back into that folder now. There it is. And there's my two files that I would submit. Again, this one's for review. This is uh, JPEG. I'm going to right click and go down to properties. Uh, on Mac, you go to get info. And take a look here. And there you go. So again, this is uh, 637 gigabytes. This isn't even a meg, and that's exactly what you want. You want to try to keep things under 30 megs for submission. I'm going to uh, check out the Photoshop file here, go to its properties. Right click, go to properties. Again, on Mac, you go to get info. And perfect, look at that. 72 res for submission review purposes is uh, 4.2, I'm sorry, uh, 4.12 megabytes. So that is uh, fantastic, way under 30 megs, okay? And then I would submit these two files. Now another thing you can do is you can actually zip native files. So if I wanted to zip this uh, file, uh, JPEGs you don't necessarily need to zip, but you could uh, zip multiple files together if you wanted to. Uh, let's say I wanted to zip these two, right click on it, and I would uh, go ahead and uh, send to compress zip folder. Now on Mac you would uh, select what you want, right click and go uh, zip content. Okay, um, I could zip these into a folder. So if I select this process, you'll notice that it's been zipped. I have WinRAR for view. If I open this uh, zip content up, those files are zipped together. So it reads these files as one file as opposed to uh, uploading two at a time. So if I go to properties and check out the zip file, look at that. It took both files and compressed them into uh, 3.87 megabytes. So this is uniting together, which is even smaller than uh, the PSD file itself. Let's do this. Let's just zip the PSD file. And let's see the file size of this for submission. Okay, again, so just the PSD file now zipped is uh, 3.26 megabytes. Well, well under 30 megs. Okay, so you can zip multiple files together uh, to even uh, lessen the file size even more for final project submissions sent into clients. Uh, pretty much everybody who works in the industry, especially in marketing, is going to understand a zip, you know, a zip file reading uh, multiple files as one file. It really helps in email purposes if email is the only solution that you can uh, use. Now there is uh, uh, you know using FTP usernames and passwords to upload to uh, web servers. Uh, there's, there's a lot of other websites that allow you to do uh, sharing of files. Okay, um, But uh, in this case if you could uh, zip files and just send them easily through email. This is the best solution. There's going to be times when you have to send drafts or work to your contact. Keep in mind that you can uh, go to my LinkedIn page at linkedin.com if you would like to uh, link up with me and uh, have me as a uh, resource and a reference in your uh, list of contacts. You can uh, send me a message at my LinkedIn and uh, that will reach out to my Yahoo email. Uh, hence my uh, Gmail accounts, and uh, I can always be there to help you. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, look forward to working with you.